Hello and welcome back to another tutorial by Davies Media Design. Today I'll be showing you how to create a 3D text shadow like the one you see here. All right, so let's get right into it. For starters, we'll create a new document by hitting Control N on the keyboard and we're gonna go with 1920 by 1080 and click OK. You can also, of course, go to File, New. The first thing we'll do is set the background color. So what I'll do is come over here and click on my foreground swatch and we'll come over here. I already have my red color I wanna use, red-ish color. I'll click on that. You can copy the HTML notation here and I'll click OK. So now I can simply click and drag this color onto the composition and release. And now I have a reddish background color. Next, we'll grab the text tool from the toolbox. And I'm just gonna go with this white color for my text so I can just swap the colors there by clicking this arrow. The font, I'm gonna stick with this Montserrat Semi-Bold. This is a font I downloaded for free from Google Fonts. I will include a link in the description. The size, I'll change to 500. And I'm just gonna come over here and click on my composition. And with the caps lock key on, I'll type GIMP. So now I wanna center this up, but the text box makes the layer sort of a weird size. So all I have to do is go to layer, crop to content. So that crops the layer size down to the text. Now I'll come over here to the move tool inside my toolbox, click and hold, and then release my mouse on the alignment tool. I'll align relative to image, click on my text layer. You'll see the little boxes here in the corner. And I'm just going to center align this both vertically and horizontally. So now we're nice and centered up on the page. Next, what we can do is come over here to the layers panel and I'll come down here and just click the duplicate icon. So that gives us a duplicate of our text layer. So now we have two of these. I'll then come over here to where it says lock and click the alpha channel icon. It's this little gray checkerboard box that just locks the alpha channel around the pixels of the text here. So with that alpha channel locked, what I can do is come over here, click on my foreground swatch, then come over here and choose this dark color, this dark blue. Again, you can copy my HTML notation right here in your HTML notation box and I'll click OK. So with that foreground color set, we're gonna click and drag that onto the text. So this is going to be our shadow. I'll just come over here, make sure you unlock the alpha channel. That is very crucial for the upcoming steps. And you can either add a blur to this layer now or add it later. I'm going to add it later. You'll see what that looks like later on. But while we're still on this GIMP number one layer, I'm now going to hit Shift W or come over here to your toolbox, click and hold on the transform tool group and just go down here to transform, 3D transform. So with our 3D transform tool selected, I'm gonna come over here to this bottom tab here labeled rotate, click on that. And then over here, you'll see this little grid. We're going to click on the bottom middle. That's just setting where we are rotating this from. So we're gonna rotate it from the bottom middle of the layer. If I hold the shift key, it's going to constrain this only to the one axis. So if I click and hold now on here, you'll see it's going to constrain my movements along the X axis. And so when I drag my mouse up and down, I can reposition the letters here. So you guys can position them to wherever you want. And then once you're happy with the placement, just release your mouse. So you'll see over here that only the X value changed. You can of course, just click and drag this and that'll perform the same task if you don't want to hold the shift key. So one thing you may notice here is that the letters may not align perfectly on the bottom how you want. So what you can do is come over here to the second tab labeled move and just use the up and down arrows on the Z axis. Usually you have to go down a little bit and then you can just click and drag your mouse to reposition this to where you want it. And it's gonna be hard to get these to perfectly line up. It's not super important. You just want it to be pretty close. And once you're happy with it, let me just go up a little bit to 20. So once you're happy with that, come over here and click transform. And that will apply the transformation to that GIMP number one text layer. 
So now we're just going to click and drag that layer below the original GIMP text layer. So now we have this cool shadow and it's going inward, so it creates the 3D effect. Now we're gonna add some blur to this. So first, let's make the layer size the size of the entire composition so that the blur doesn't get cut off by the layer boundary. So we'll go to layer, layer to image size. Once we've done that, now we can add the blur. So I'll go to filters, blur. I like to just go with Gaussian blur. And we're just going to crank the value up. You can crank it up as high as you want. Obviously, when you do it too much, it just obliterates the shadow. So you just want to add a little bit of blur to this. Somewhere around 10 is probably good. You can go a little higher. Once you're ready, just click OK. So for many of you, that might be all you need, but there are some things you can do to spice up the design of this, make it look better. For one, we can sort of make the 3D effect fade into the background so that it looks like the light source gets weaker as you go towards the background. To do that, we're gonna click on this GIMP number one layer, click on the layer mask icon, and choose white full opacity. Click add. We'll grab the gradient tool and we're gonna reset our colors here to black and white. So with the black color as our foreground color, come over to the gradients and just set foreground and transparent as the color and change the shape to linear. And then click and drag your mouse while holding the control key. And let me just come over here and just swap the colors of the gradient. So you want the black to be on top and that way You'll see it's just fading a little bit there. And so we're just adjusting the endpoints of the gradient until we get the desired look. And then I can hit the enter key so the shadow just gets slightly weaker as it goes towards the center. So something else you can do is make it look like there's a light source on the GIMP text. So come over here to that text. We'll come over here and change the color there from black to just like a darker grayish color and click OK. We can lock the alpha channel. And with the gradient still selected, I'm going to change the shape of this to radial. And then next I'm gonna add center guides. So I'll go to image, guides, new guide by percent. And we'll go with vertical 50%, click OK. Control Shift F brings that up again. And we'll just change this to horizontal and click OK. Now we have center guides. So now I can click and drag my mouse on the center guide and drag it outwards. And the colors are the opposite of what I want. So I'll come over here and click the reverse button here. And that reverses the colors. And then if I hover my mouse over this line, I can drag the midpoint outwards. And that's just going to make it so that the white really just takes up more of the text there. And it just looks better in my opinion. You can of course drag this out further if you want. And then once you're happy with it, hit the enter key. So now you'll see it's just a little darker around the edges. A couple of other quick things I'll do. I'll come over to the background layer and just make this look a little bit more 3D. So I'm gonna click on the color here, the foreground color. Then I'm gonna click on the red color I've been using under value, which you can access by hitting the HSV tab here. We're gonna change the value to 79, so that decreases the value by 20. And I'll click OK. That just makes the color darker. And so now we have our gradient tool here still. We'll change the shape back to linear. Click and drag while holding the Control key. And once again, I'm going to swap my colors. So you can pretty much place this wherever you wanna place it and then I'll hit the enter key. So the last thing I'll do here is just add a little bit of blur to the text and I'm going to do that by hiding the background layer and we're gonna create a layer with all of these objects here on it. So now I'll go to layer, new from visible. So everything that's currently visible is now on one layer so we can hide these other two layers and unhide the background layer. On the visible layer, we'll go to filters, blur, focus blur, and now we can just adjust the focus blur so that it's not so close to the center here. And that just gives us a little bit of a blur along the outer edges there of the text. 
and this is like the midpoint here, this handle. And once you're ready, click OK. Control Shift T to hide the guides, and there's our final composition. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.